Alright guys, this is the Hero Spotlight I promised with Hawkeye and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright y'all, for Hawkeye's passive, I can see you. Every time Hawkeye levels up, his range of his basic attack and vision gets bigger. I saw other things. He is also able to see blurs in the grass of people who appear invisible. So right now I have an enemy dummy in the grass, but you guys can see that blurry vision in the grass, right? Oh yeah, that is why I can see you. But um, right now I'm gonna level up as much as possible and show you the differences in my basic attack range every time I level up. So right now it's still kind of small, but once you see when I get to level 18, it's gonna be like much bigger, very much bigger. But um, even though you can see them in the grass or anywhere that makes them invisible, you're not gonna be able to attack them. So I advise you to poke them with your second skill. Which I will now go over in a second. Alright, for Hawkeye's second skill, I'm about to blast you in your buttons. With this skill, you can shoot an arrow in a specific direction that will blow up right in your buttons. Doing damage to the enemies and the surroundings. Right now, I'm in my second skill, I'm about to blast you right in your buttons. And when it hits the person and after it explodes, it actually gives it a 2 second cooldown. And... It doesn't matter like how much people is there, as long as you're in the range of um, blasting your buns. Because as you can see, it does damage to everyone inside the circle. Ugh. Ay, ay, ay. And also, right now, I'm about to shoot this dollar right in his buns. Yeah, this is the perfect skill, man. Yes. Now, for Hawkeye's third skill, you're all minds. Imano to Imano. With this skill, you can lock onto enemy heroes with the lowest HP for 6 seconds. And this skill also gives you more attack speed, and it also gives you additional damage. So now I'm about to press my third skill. And as y'all can see, it gives me more attack speed. And also I am digging this little stance that he gets when he uses his third skill. Oh my god, oh, hold up y'all, watch this. See how when he shoots regularly, he's like standing up straight? But when he uses that third skill, my god, he just so relaxed. He gets a whole new stance. He's like, oh, you're all mods. Man, perfect name again. And also, guys, when you use your third skill, you don't have to, like, if you're locked on, you do not have to use your second skill. Well, you don't have to aim it. That's a better way of saying it. You don't have to aim your second skill. You can just press it and it's automatically gonna go to the person that you're locked onto. Like right there, I was just holding my um, second skill and I couldn't aim it. It will just it will just automatically go through every opponent there and it will go to that person that you're locked onto. And also early game when you're in the like a lane and you're trying to attack someone in this minion, the advisor to get locked onto them. So when you use your second skill, it does not miss. Now for his last skill. The thing about this skill is that the name is just so badass that I just really could not freaking come up with a name with that. So basically, Hawkeye jumps backwards, dealing damage to the enemy heroes. And he is also immune to every type of damage when jumping back. Alright, for now, arrow rain, I'm gonna be jumping backwards and does a ton of damage and it also slows down the enemy heroes that gets hit with the arrows. And it also does like a lot of area damage. Yeah guys, I'm not even gonna cap right now. Doing this feels so satisfying. I mean, I'm not even gonna lie. They made this guy so unique. Like, oh my god, he's such, he's such a badass. Like, oh my god. With him jumping backwards and doing those shots just looks so cool. I'm just gonna spam for a little bit. But, um, also, I'm gonna try to get my HP as low as possible. Just to show you guys that I can immune all type of damage. And watch, watch when I get really low. And back shot. Nah. Looking nice. I'm gonna do it one more time. One more time. One more time. Back shot. Oh, yeah. Tragedy. 
Hey guys, the thing is, I never told you guys how much I actually love this game. Like, come on, look at this. Look at this map. It's beautiful. Tragedy. If you guys actually Tragedy. watch Black Tragedy. you would have seen that, that rainfall is from when um, Chuchala fought that golden panther dude. Oh gosh, the victories on this game is just mwah, beautiful. Alright, let me get straight to the point. So basically, Hawkeye really doesn't have, excuse me, that much, like, combos, to say combos. He's a marksman, you know, so, the most I could tell you is to use your third skill, second skill, then when they get really low, you can back off with your ult, because I'm sure they're going to keep on attacking you, and if you back off with your ult, you're going to become immune to that damage you're about to take in before they die. And especially late game, if you're like fighting a marksman, you know, if it's a 1v1 between you and another marksman, you're gonna get really low. And if like, if you are accustomed to using Hawkeye, you're gonna know his damage. So, if you use your third skill, second skill, and then a few basic attacks, you're gonna know how much damage it's gonna take to actually kill that marksman or player with your ultimate. So, you can like back off with your ultimate as soon as you're about to kill the person. So guys, here is my build. The thing is, guys, it took me a while to actually make this build, but um, the thing is, I was actually confused whether to put Twilight Blade or that third item which I have. There. I forgot the name of it, but um, because Twilight Blade actually gives you true damage, and most of the items here, well, the item after my third item, it actually gives me. Uh, more attack speed and crit rate and twilight blade it actually works with crit rate because it, the more crit rate you have the more true damage your crit rate will have so it was a hard choice whether to put that third item or twilight blade but um this, this build is actually very good it gives you about a good amount of life steal physical damage attack speed and plus armor penetration tanks cannot withstand this build but I advise you to stay back as well because you're still a marksman with no HP. You can easily burst it down, especially by assassins and other heroes. So I hope you guys will copy it, use it, make it to good use. Make it to good use. Now it's time for tactics. Nah! with arrows. Alright, y'all, for recommended tactics, I would actually recommend wound. Blink, first aid, accelerate, but never, never put accelerate and blink together. That makes no sense. I want you to have two escape on um, tactics when you can have one that can actually help you do extra damage and still have that extra escape skill. Plus, you don't really need two escape skills because your ultimate gives you complete immunity. We wouldn't have to do that extra two true damage when they really love to get you that kill if you're about to die. First aid helps you if you're really low and you need that little HP if there's no things to attack. Blink help you get out of tight areas. Accelerate helps you get your extra movement speed. And that's really it. Alright y'all, I did it again. I made a video in under 10 minutes about a hero. And also I want you guys to tell me down in the comments down below what the next hero you guys would like me to make a hero spot like about. Cause I will do the same thing for every hero I've done so far. So don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be on my latest video.